Brutal conditions greeted players after day one of the Taiwan Swinging Skirts LPGA. We're at Miramar Golf Country Club. Kate Burton alongside me, Ali Whitaker. And Ali, we had all the major champions competing today, but they're not the ones that we see at the top of the leaderboard. It was tough out there. It is, and you know what? All competing for the first time since uh, the AIG Women's British Open, which is great. But interestingly enough, a couple of longer hitters crept into the mix today, which we haven't seen here in past editions. Yeah, breaking the mould. But wow, how to navigate your way around this golf course in those swirling conditions. The rain came, the wind came, very hard to cope. It was variable. I think that's the way to put it. And you know what? Whenever that happens, club choice is, is really difficult. And the players that did it the best are at the top of the leaderboard. They certainly are. Well, why don't we enjoy the highlights now with Peter Donegan. Given the fact that Mother Nature made life hard, there was some good scoring in round one. And Amy Olsen of the United States was one of those to post a good score, rolling in a birdie here at six on the way to a 68. Brooke Henderson had a good round going until late in the day. This was a birdie at five, eventually a double at 17, costing her. She finished at one under. Megan Kang also had a pretty good opening round. And she was able to fire this one in close, one of her birdies for the day. And Megan with a two under par round of 70, back-to-back -back birdies at seven and eight, the highlight of her day. Carolyn Masson also had a very promising opening, four under par 68, you'll take that in the conditions that were prevailing today. And the quarter sisters did it in style. Here's Jess, first of all, third shot at the final hole. She went out in 36, brought it home in 33 for a three under round. And Minji Lee of Australia, well, she's a first round specialist. About seven times this year, she shot 67 or better in the first round. And with play like that, you can understand why. It was a 67 for Minji, but the best moment of the day came from the defending champion, Nellie Corder. Second shot at the 15th hole, one of the more difficult second shots on the course. Not for Nellie, it wasn't. She'd been waiting for a while to hold out. She'd come close a few times throughout the year. It was about time she held one from the fairway, and she did today too. Nelly, that was an incredible shot from Nelly Corder, an eagle on 15, a rare commodity out there today. It is unlikely, and she was so thrilled. She said, you know, I actually haven't holed out in forever, and that's what she and her caddy Jason were laughing about afterwards. It was good fun. They were pleased as punch, and so was MJ Her as well, a two-time winner already this season, flew under the radar. We didn't really notice her until we saw her on the front page of the leaderboard, started on the other side of the golf course. No, well, she had two wins in 10 years, and now all of a sudden they're just dropping like flies, and you know what? Again, a great round consistent round so many um, opportunities but so few dropped shots which is really key around this layout yeah and she's a great putter as well we talk often about her long game but she's very very good with the flat stick she is and super sharp and you need to be around this golf course but you need to be selective with which parts of the greens you hit it into and it looks like she was today oh she was fantastic as you can see conditions are very very blustery here but the standings through day one well we have plenty of players on four under par four to be exact but Minji Lee five under 67 but it's MJ Her. And Nelly Corder on six under par. They take a one-shot lead into day two.